today, Precarious Plays, Stardew Valley. So what did you want to talk about, about multiplayer? You just wanted to tell people like kind of what you wanted? What I, what I was sort of was hoping for, and the reason why I thought it was going to take so much more time to develop, mm -hmm. and really the only th way that I, I think it could be satisfying, you know? Mm -hmm. like really satisfying. Um, mm -hmm. I think it would basically require a, to start a different map, mm -hmm. like a different environment. I'm gonna wait until Holo is done doing a death roll on the beanbag. Okay. It's probably fine. So, I was expecting uh, an entirely different map. Mm -hmm. And I know that that sounds like a lot of work, but hear me out. So, when you're playing in multiplayer, usually you can lean on your friends for companionship, the people you're playing with. Mm -hmm. So, I was expecting Basically, imagine like, imagine the farm, the beach, so this screen, right? Right. The farm, the beach, the path that leads to the the, the blacksmith, or no, I'm sorry, not the blacksmith, the carpenter mm -hmm. and her house. Mm -hmm. Imagine if her house was in like the train station area mm -hmm. and the path to the north of the farm that that goes to that that area imagine if it just led directly to the train station mm -hmm. that was the scale that i was imagining right right so basically just what what is that four four screens mm -hmm. to put it in way old like revealing my age a little bit, <laughs> gaming terms. Mm -hmm. So those four environments, like a some sort of uh, beach or something to the south, just so you have like the fishing available mainly, and you have that environment, that ocean environment, the farm, which is definitely the focus, mm -hmm. um, a small connecting path just to create a... Um, Basically, a, a, a cost, a, a cost in time, right? Right. And then a small, small, little, it would actually probably have a train station in it, which explains how your characters get there. Mm hmm And then it would probably have, like, I don't even know if it, no, actually, it would definitely have to have a hot spring so that way you and your friends can go to the hot spring together. Yay. But it would have all of the non- player characters mm -hmm. they would like that's where uh, basically like a general store that had like a blacksmith attached to it yeah would be one store and it would have like one or two characters maybe new maybe familiar uh, working there mm -hmm. and then it would have maybe like like I don't think that it the that multiplayer would need like an equivalent to the bar. Right. Because the hope I imagine would be that somebody in your group would cook for everyone. Yeah. So I imagine you would just have you would have just a, a handful of new characters um just like 3 or 4, you know, probably like somebody that works at the train station. Mhm. Mm that facilitates multiplayer. Somebody that does like general goods. Mm -hmm. Somebody that helps you with your tools and stuff and and upgrades. So you would just have like a general like handyman, like mm -hmm. handy handy person to have around. Yeah. And then maybe one of them has like a child, just to just to have like another character to make it feel more like a, an environment that mm -hmm. you that you're existing in. And the key is that none of them would be big talkers, you know? Yeah. Because it's not about... Talking to them, it's them. about talking with your friends. But it would still have the the social element. They would still feel like characters, which mm -hmm. is important. It wouldn't be... Actually, that's a poor example. I was going to use an example from Animal Crossing, but I really like those dogs, so never mind. <laughs> 
because one of them's sort of portly and isn't very good at his job, and the other one's very handsome and is way good at his job. Okay. Actually, now that I'm saying it out loud, I don't know if I like. I don't know if I like what Animal Crossing is saying about about chubby police dogs. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Any woof. <laughs> so, I think that they would have to have a different environment. A much smaller environment, a much more focused environment. Um, and then... I think that they would have to... So right now, you basically... There's no real reason to play multiplayer because your farmer is just so damn talented. Yeah. Even without upgraded tools, you can just... So here's a great example. Uh, comparing it to something from Harvest Moon. Mm -hmm. In Harvest Moon, your scythe, whenever you swing it, it uses energy. Right. In Stardew Valley, swinging your scythe doesn't. Was that a game design choice? Almost certainly. But that's boring, so I'm gonna read into it and assume that it's because you're a super farmer. With super, super farm. farming powers. Yes. So you can just swing your scythe and it doesn't require any energy. Mm -hmm. And really, everything about your character as a farmer suggests that you are just really good at farming. Yeah, because all the plants come up. <laughs> every time. Unless a crow gets it, yeah. Yeah. And I mean, you can just like wolf down carefully. You're about to run into Yeah, I'm about, I know. E, sorry. I was like, right, right. It's hot springs time. So, <laughs> your farmer can do basically everything on your, on your own. You can do combat, fishing, foraging, farming, and the fifth one. And the fifth one. With farming, foraging. A train is passing through stuff. Uh, yeah, and trainsmanship. Train conducting. You can do that all on your own. Um. Huh. You know, I've never stopped to go see the train. Yeah, you did. You did once before. You were excited oh. because ore fell off. Or not ore, oh a geo gosh. fell off. Does it? Well, this That's is right. A, no, this is a passenger train, so uh. I don't. I think anything that falls off, you're not, gonna, you're not gonna want. Uh, yeah. Like a baby. My baby! Hey, Linus. No, you can have this back and you just roll it into the tracks. No, of course not. Uh, <laughs> Poor Linus. He's got self esteem issues. Uh, I thought what I said about that baby, that human baby, was funny. I'm sorry, I was too busy being concerned with Linus. <laughs> Over I the swear, human baby. You know, it's funny, but like Linus is the only dude like I see on a regular basis because he's right outside the dungeon and I'm like, hey Linus. And no, he's that, like, hey. That makes perfect sense. I remember I my best friends were the blacksmith and the carpenter because yeah. I'd go to the carpenter's house every day to see her furniture selection and the blacksmith mm -hmm. to um, process geodes. Yeah. No, Linus is my BFF. Yep. <laughs> I so, dig his style. So... Log pause. Yep. Almost. They'd have to change the mechanics so you could only get good. Your character could only become proficient and skilled. Like, a, uh, like to, uh... Everybody should be able to do everything at a basic level. Yeah. But only... With specialization, could your character, which would have to be specific to the multiplayer mode, to yeah. to have it be meaningful, mm -hmm. because that's the thing. I mean, look, whatever they put in, you can probably bet I'm gonna rope Audette into playing it with me, and Julian yeah, and, and I are gonna sit down and we're gonna have fun because it's you can make just about anything fun. I'm pretty friends. sure that I could get, like, I could. Oh, it's a squirrel. I could have to go to a, a nerve stapling. I could endure nerve stapling in a dystopian future, and it would be fun if I had friends with me, <laughs> you know? And actually, after that, everybody would be my friend, because the state says so. Uh... Anyway. I'm not talking about having it just be fun. I'm, ha I'm talking about it having it be meaningful, right? Like, mm -hmm. having a real reason to play multiplayer with someone instead of yeah. just playing the multiplayer next to somebody. Yeah. Which is what I'm, I'm worried it's gonna, it's probably gonna be. Which again, is gonna be fine. It's gonna be fun. It's just It'll not be gonna be necessary. It'll be fun no matter what, but, but. Yeah, because I mean, they, 
I don't I don't doubt their technical ability. I'm sure it's gonna be functional. I don't think there's yeah. gonna be any any issues. But I think that activities that you could only do together would be great. So here's I think a perfect example. I don't think that you should be able to upgrade your tools in the same way, and I don't think that when you do, I don't think they should work in the same way. Mm -hmm. um, you shouldn't be able to upgrade an axe to the point where you can chop through like a big tree. Mm -hmm. Like the, the sizes of trees that they have in the game now are fine, but I think for multiplayer, they should have like a big crazy tree that's yeah. like, huge. And I think that two people should have to use one of those two-person saws. That'd be so fun. Right, wouldn't it? Wouldn't it be? Yeah. So, like, I can think of lots of situations like that that I wouldn't know how to articulate into a game. Like, having to plant a rice field. Like, you have so much stuff to plant, and you have to plant it all in the same day, but you can't do it alone. Oh, so it's just the, the challenge is they just make it huge, and for whatever reason, if you don't finish like the whole plot, like the whole thing just fails. That yeah. could be a little punishing, but that would be cool. And it would be like a, a farming raid, man. <laughs> I have to admit that I hadn't actually thought of any like well, comparable ideas to actually or, make a farming Or property. like actually getting people, like getting people to um, uh, raise a barn for you. Ooh, so you oh, could that's do that. good, and that would be perfect because then that that that's why there's just the one. Basically, every character in multiplayer would have to be much less competent. You couldn't yeah. have like a super carpenter, like in single player, where she just works by herself for like three days, and then boom, there's a barn. Like you would maybe be be able to go get like plans from somebody, and then you and your friends would have to put in to make the barn, and then you guys would have to build it together. And then you would do that for each other's farms or whatever. Well, well, no, I think that's that's the other thing. It's just the one farm. Yeah, the, the one, one farm. farm, the one farm house, because it. Oh, and then you could all be siblings or whatever, roommates or sexy, polygamal lovers or whatever. It doesn't have to be siblings. It could be siblings. Just you make your own fucking story. Who cares about that boring shit? <laughs> okay, fine. I'm well, more concerned about what you do whenever you're all together. Yeah, I suppose. Gosh, what are other things? Ah. I think making crops once they're fully grown. Uh huh. So here's what I would I would I'm thinking would probably help. Mm hmm. Um. Making crops wilt. Yeah. Very pretty rapidly, like. Like if you missed a day of watering. Well, no, not the watering. Uh, once they're fully grown. Oh. To encourage people, like if you, if you make a. See, here's the problem. I can't think of a fair way to justify forcing people into large crops, mm -hmm. like large, um, large numbers of crops to be planted and grown. Yeah. Yeah. And then also. I mean, it's like, once a crop is fully grown, you have just that one day to harvest them, and if you don't, they wilt the next day. Oh, not right. Only is I that, see what you're saying. Not only does that not make a lot of sense, I mean, it would encourage people to work together to get those suckers out of the ground. Yeah. But I don't know if that's super fun. I'm just thinking of what would encourage people multiple people to team up on an activity, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, but then I, you'd have to think of some reason Horse why... Races. Oh, yeah. I, you'd have to think of some reason why the crop would have to be large enough to require more than one person, because otherwise well, you would only just harvest... You'd only plant what you could harvest yourself in one day. I have an idea about that, mister. Yeah? You know that um, Harvest Moon that I just started playing and how it has its little need-based economy? Yeah. That would be why. Oh, what? yeah. To meet to meet the needs of people who need the crops that you're building. Oh, so there's like some sort of you Little. basically. It'd have to be more structured and and you'd have to have like a like a particular goal that you'd have to meet. Yeah, so it'd be like. Mm. Oh, that is pretty good. Yeah, so you'd end up with more quest type. It would be less about designing a farm and hanging out on your farm, and more about you know like doing. Completing great projects. And I guess that 
I guess that the what I suppose that the way to keep the tone in the right zone mm -hmm. would be to make the reward uh, sorry the reward really great instead of the penalty really harsh. Yeah, so like the reward for doing something would like be that could be plans for the barn. Yeah, plans for the barn or an additional pasture or being able to buy a new tractor or a sprinkler system to make Whoa, your production no, go. No, sprinklers up. would have to go right the fuck out. Oh yeah. Because then you wouldn't be able to wa like get other people to water stuff with you. Right, right, cuz I mean that's one of the things eventually in this game you can automate so much that it's hard to find work for you. What are yeah. you supposed to do when you have multiple people? Well, you just make it more difficult. You leave out those technological but, advancements and hang out together while you guys water stuff. But just imagine if if every like major, if all of the fields, if, the, if all of the, the five fields, those five farming pillars of Stardew Valley. The five fields of farming. Imagine if those five fields all had just a single, just imagine, just as an exercise, a single cooperative activity that just really, really made you want to play in multiplayer, and if each one of those required one player to specialize their character to lead, and then the other one could be of any skill level, but you just had to have one person to be good at it. So one person to use the co-op saw had to be like, I fucking know lumber. I know how to survive here in the wilderness. I'm a lumber. And you're gonna help me, I'm gonna guide you. I'm gonna tell you like, we need to cut at this particular angle uh, with the grain or maybe not. I don't know how trees work. <laughs> and I'm gonna make sure we don't get tr crushed by the falling tree. And then another one is like, I'm super good at fishing. I have a fishing boat. We're gonna spend all day. Deadliest catch. We're gonna spend all day <laughs> catching a big ass fish. Uh -huh. And it's gonna take two people to reel this bad boy in. So you and your friend, the friend is the one that's good at fishing and thus the boat, the fishing boat. Yeah. He, he's the one in charge and you go out to sea and then his his bud casts his line and they just fish all day. Mm -hmm. And then you have the farming, which is actually probably the trickiest. That's probably the one that would actually out of necessity be made the most stressful. Yeah. Because, like you said, it'd be like, ah, the contract just came in. You need to have crazy amounts of grain by the end of the season to get this thing. And then you would just have one person who maybe their, maybe their power is just the use of like the, the basic farming tools, but they can use them at the upgraded level. Right. Well, no, because then that just means they're sort of a super farmer. Okay. Well, anyways, so all we'll these ideas the... are excited. <laughs> and then the combat would just be like one person has like an adventurer's cat, essentially. Uh huh. Oh, it could, they could they could pull like a Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles. And one person could have a lantern, and the dungeons would be really dark in oh, multiplayer. Yeah. And you just have to stay near them oh. because they have a fucking lantern. That's oh. it. It's done. That's it. It's done. It's done. And then <laughs> what's the last category? Because I kind of forgot. Fishing. Fishing. Foraging. foraging. No, foraging. We didn't talk about foraging. It's the lumber. Foraging. Oh, foraging. Is lumber. Farming. That's the crops. Combat. Combat. It's the last thing. Oh man, time to cheat. Mining. Mining. Oh, uh, and that's easy. Bombs, explosives. Yeah. Oh, and then you'd have one person who would get to push the plunger. Yeah. Boop. Boop. Yeah. Anyway, that it. We we I dove way into like dreams coming true territory. <laughs> I know that not not all of that. It's just there are so many assets that are already in the game, you know, and they could be repurposed, and they could cut corners, um, and I think that. That making that much more limiting experience where you have to depend on people would ultimately be a lot more fun. Yes, I think it could be fun. Or, I'm not know. interested in it though. Yeah, everybody. <laughs> or, or, everybody or we can, can just, just all have our farms and, leave and each not other worry alone. about it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just. I mean, no. I mean, they can just hang out and not, not worry about making like a like a really interconnected experience. And we just, you know, you come over and I'll. You can work on my farm and I'll give you spaghetti before you leave. How does that sound? Sounds like real life. <laughs>